So I gotta be fully honest with you. I don't know if I am mentally prepared to see this video just because seeing the, the Morissette's live performance of this song on the Wish Bus and then uh, just looking up the lyrics, I actually did a lyric translation of this song so I could like see actually what it was all about before I hear now other versions of it. Um, I'm blown away with the uh, incredible musicianship and vocal ability. Of course, like I, I knew Morissette was an incredible vocalist. I've seen so many of her videos. I mean, I've interviewed her on the channel. Like I'm familiar with her voice and her music. Uh, but I just this performance was unbelievable and well deserving of the 19 million views that were uh, on that Wish Bus performance. So today we have the live band performance, which uh, you know I, I'm I'm a big fan of artists that do different versions of their songs. So we had the Wish Bus performance, we have the studio version, we have now a live band performance. So I'm really looking forward to checking this out. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Jacob Restituto. I'm a musician from Northport, New York, and let's get right into this Maury Set song. Video quality is phenomenal. Sheet music on the iPad. Alright, let's talk about this before we get even further. Um, just really cool attention to detail here. I just want to see how many views this video has. Uh, 1.7 million views, which is pretty amazing. Um, just the attention to detail. First of all, I want to talk about, you know, just the set. Um, and the, the, the cinematography. The quality of the cameras is phenomenal. Like, and, and the shots. Like, this is a really cool, like, it's a different shot. It's like a little bit under her face and like kind of looking up, but it's a close up on her face. Like that's really cool. It's not just like these like tripod shots, you know, obviously, but like, you know, I'm, I'm a creative. I make my own videos. I make my own music. Like I, I look, these are things I look at cause I'm like, what can I do for my own music? Uh, to like, you know, take it to the next level, I'm borrowing ideas from other artists. We have this cool backlight. Um, and so, and then the smoke machine, actually, I don't know if you noticed the smoke going on. Did you know that smoke machines are used not only just for obviously the making of the smoke view, but also, um, because it makes the light, you can actually see the beams of lights more. Um, so it actually, a lot of places will use it again. One is a, just a textual effect with the, you know, to, to be cool. Right. But it's also more so, so you actually see the lights even more pronounced when there's lights on the stage and everything you could see, you know, like the beams of light as opposed to just the source of light, if that makes sense. Um, another attention to detail I think is really cool is the uh, the white microphone. I just think that's a really cool touch, um, as well as a little, little diamond thing on her in-ear monitors. I love the pattern of the the rhythm the rhythm pattern of the melody. Let's talk about this really quick. So one of two things I'm assuming is happening. Either, so I want to say, like, just in my ba you know professional opinion, I, this sounds actually very live. You know, they say live band performance, but sometimes some artists, um, it doesn't necessarily mean live. Uh, you know, which I hate. It's one of my biggest things in the music industry where they say it's live, and you know maybe there was a band there, but like it doesn't actually mean live. But this 
has a difference. This sounds live um, for a couple aspects. One, um, if you compare this performance with the the, the, um, the Wish Plus performance, you'll hear um, like the Wish Plus is a little bit more of a controlled environment. I wouldn't necessarily say a studio, but it's definitely like a, a um, in between between a studio and a live performance because it's a little quieter in the bus. It's a little con more controlled. They're probably using a condenser microphone. Um, so you could just, actually, that's really what I'm talking about here is you can hear the difference between the microphones. If you listen to that microphone and this microphone, this microphone sounds a little thinner. Um, it's not as full. Um, and that's a big difference between a condenser microphone and a dynamic microphone, which is what she's using here. So that's one reason I want to say that it's, it's, um, it, it sounds live. Um, secondly, uh, what I'm assuming is one of two things. Either they had a couple cameras set up and they were all filmed this in one take and it's all from the one take or what I'm more likely... Um, leaning towards is they filmed a couple different takes, used the best audio, meaning the best recording version of it, and then from there compiled those different takes with the different cameras. And what I mean by that is um, there are certain shots, like I think the piano guy is behind her, so there's no way you'd be able to get the piano shot without her be seeing the uh, while filming her without seeing the camera on top of the piano. You know what I mean? So what I like, I think they likely did is did several takes picked the best audio take, and then compiled those different takes of the video, which is what I often do, uh, into one final version. I love this melody. Are playing, come on. I love that chromatic tone. change the, the, the cinematic choices of the videographers are phenomenal in this video um, one thing I want to say is I, I'm, I'm coming up on about three years of, of knowing more sets music and watching her videos and one of the things I would love to say is um, you could see a huge difference in her um, performance and her performances I guess you could say and like her performance um, confidence like the way she's she's almost so, so, so uh, p t take this with a grain of salt. Most people don't realize that singing is actually, to some degree, acting, and or performing is to some degree acting. It's like the performance art, is what we call it, right? And what else is in performance art? Well, you have like you have you know stage acting, you have movie acting, um, and and I really don't think most people realize that like performing is an act. Like it's a very different performance. The way she's like looking into the camera with the side eye, or like, that she's like you know puffing a chest out kind of thing. As opposed to her just standing with a microphone and kind of singing out and holding the mic stand. Like, those are two totally different performances. The static one and the more animated. And I'm not saying one is better than the other or anything. I'm just saying, um, actually I am. I'm, I'm saying that it's, it's it's you know, uh, what, uh, I guess I am. I guess I'm saying that it's more attention grabbing. It's more awe inspiring. It's more, um, it's just, I think it's cool when artists like, like, they're in, they immerse themselves in the performance rather than kind of just being right behind the mic stand. And like, it just makes the song that much more believable. And I think this is a great example of it right here. But it's cool to see her transition as she's gotten gotten more comfortable, I guess you could say, you know, on stage, as she's gotten more comfortable, whatever, more comfortable than anything. Um, you just see that confidence coming out. It's like it was filmed at a restaurant.
dude, the lighting is absurd in this, man. It is crazy, man. Like, this performance was, was unbelievable. Like, really, really phenomenal performance by Morissette. Um, and the band, too. The You know, shout out to the band. Yeah, Does she hi hire a specific band for this? Or is this a band that she goes on, like, tours with? Like, what's the situation with that? But regardless, really, really cool performance. Really top-notch. So, uh, I, I'd love to know what your opinion is. Send me a text and let me know what you think I should check out next. Have a great day. God bless and peace out.